It's time for another Coffee Talk with John. It's officially fall, and I'm on the back deck. It's, I believe right now, uh, 58 degrees or something like that. I'm wearing a sweater. It feels lovely. It's a, it's a perfect day to talk about endings and beginnings. Yesterday, I recorded my final episode of Spirit Cafe. And there's a lot of beauty in the way that came, came to be. You know, meeting Tamara's owner was, <laughs> was magnificent in, the, in regards that I saw somebody who just... You could, you could feel her presence when you met her. I'm blessed to have found a friend who not only supported me, but I was able to support as well. And that friendship will be lifelong. But there comes points in your life where things must end and new things must begin. Life is about motion. Life is about movement. Because if we're not moving, if, if things aren't progressing, then things are stagnating. You know, water running downhill in a stream is full of oxygen and life, and, and it's healthy water. But that same water, when it stops its motion, becomes stagnant and poisonous, and <laughs> the animals won't, don't even like to drink it, and bugs lay their eggs in it and it's you know stagnation creates illness creates issues and spirit cafe for me was a transition it was a transition to get back into doing my spiritual work full time and i think both Tamara and i knew that probably Tamara probably knew it more than I did, right? Um, but the, the idea of stepping into something new and having to leave something behind is a part of life. It's a part of who we are, you know? Um, I said life is motion, but you think about you know, people set goals all the time and they strive to achieve those goals. And oftentimes they'll get those goals and they won't feel fulfilled. Well, the lack of fulfillment they're, fe they're feeling is not because they've achieved their go goal and it's done. It's because they haven't set a new one. Because the fulfillment comes from motion. The, f the fulfillment comes from the purpose, from the drive. Um... Uh, we're here to experience and experiences are driven by choices and choices are, are driven by beliefs and if we can take our beliefs and our choices and derive from our feelings direction then we can create anything you know follow what, what feels right to you so what feels right to me why did I leave Spirit Cafe Spirit Cafe was, was great, but the direction that the John of New Channel and, and all the John of New stuff is going is so much more exciting for me. It, it's, it feels like my authentic purpose. It feels like that's what I should be doing. And because it feels like that's what I should be doing, sometimes the best thing you can do is strip things away that aren't what you should be doing. I had a very good, I have a very good friend of mine. He's a uh, world-class motivational speaker. Makes large amounts of monies every year. And I asked him, I said, when was it you became successful? And his answer was, when I stopped doing everything else. When I stopped doing the things that weren't what I wanted to do. When I stopped being inauthentic about my direction. I stopped being things that weren't what I wanted. 
Because sometimes we'll, we'll choose the things that we don't want because we feel we must or we feel like um, that's the only way I can make money right now or, 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 you know, that's how I'm identified. And, you know, in my life, I was, uh, I was a, a comedian, a sword fighter, a college professor, um, a motivational speaker, a spiritual speaker, and I've done a lot of different things. And there were these m- pivotal moments where I had to end, choose to end something to move forward. This has been a big week for me. I recorded my last session with Spirit Cafe, and I did my final contracted corporate speech and I was standing on that stage and I thanked the audience I said I want to thank you guys for making today's speech a a beautiful experience for me because this is my final corporate speech I'm retiring today from from corporate speaking and they're like oh oh I was like like, but for me it it was so refreshing to say I'm ending this because now that I've ended it all of my attention all of my focus goes strictly on John of New and the YouTube channel and the book and, and all the things that are, that are happening and, and helping people achieve their own divinity and recognize their own divinity and, and experience their own miracles you know that's that, that is for me that's the most beautiful work that I can do is help people find their power find their own divinity within and to me that 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 is my purpose it, and it, it is my driver and quite honestly when down the road if it doesn't feel like it's working anymore I'll end it too if I need to I don't see that happening right now, but you know, I didn't see ending corporate speaking happening, <laughs> you know, 10 years ago either. So it comes down to life is motion and you have to continually be, be setting new goals and striving for new goals and going to the next place um, and understand that you have to love yourself as equally as you love those that you serve and you know end the things that don't make sense anymore that don't feel good anymore and and follow the things that feel great follow the things that make you feel complete follow the things that make you get excited because those are the things that are based in love and God is love so those are the things that are the direct expression of God You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.